What would you do if you found the fossilized remains of your beloved pet? In this episode Fry and Bender discover an intact 20th century pizzeria in New York, which turns out to be the very place Fry used to work at before he was frozen. Among the exhibits are the fossilized remains of Fry's dog, Seymour. Fry tries to take the remains with him, but is caught and thrown out of the museum. After protesting for days, the museum agrees to return Seymour to Fry. The professor finds out that Seymour was fast fossilized, preserving the cellular structure and making it possible to clone him. As Fry prepares for the return of his pet, Bender feels neglected and tries to talk Fry out of resurrecting his dog. Bender becomes jealous and in a fit of rage, hurls Seymour's remains into a lava pit. However, Fry learns that Seymour may survive the lava because the fossil was made of dolomite, an immensely tough and heat-resistant rock. Bender then decides to dive into the lava pit himself to rescue Seymour, calculating he has a chance of survival because he is 40% dolomite. The professor then points out that Seymour had lived 12 more years after Fry was frozen and Fry decides not to clone his dog, as he might find someone else after he's gone, and he'll surely forget about him. In a series of flashbacks, we see Seymour's unwavering loyalty to Fry. Even after Fry was frozen as Seymour continued to wait outside Panucci's Pizza 12 years for his master's return, eventually growing old and lying down to close his eyes for the last time. 